You may know Washington DC as the home of the White House, the National Monuments, but if you know where to look, this city is also a place to find incredible vegan food. This last August, I went to DC to visit my best friend Tara, you may remember her from the Montreal vlog, and in this video, I'll share all of the amazing food we ate while I was there. First stop, Hip City Veg on Connecticut Avenue. This woman-owned fast food place is 100% vegan, and if you're into some really delicious indulgent food like I am, this place is for you. This is fast food because you'll get it fast, but the place is clean and it feels a lot nicer than any fast food place I've ever been to. They serve breakfast all day, so that's what I had to go with. The Waken Bacon, and can I have that with hash browns on the side? So mine has the tempeh bacon, and then the just egg and gouda cheese. Hash browns, this reminds me of my days eating McDonald's. Mm -hmm. A little hash brown. And then you got, what is in here? The basic B, which has an impossible burger, and your basic vegetables. Yeah. And then sweet potato fries with the hip city veg sauce. It's in the sauce here. It's like a honey mustard, so I'm excited to try it. All right, awesome. Mine was really good. Mm -hmm. I didn't go to it. How about you? Mine tastes like a burger. It's funny. did do that and it was a great idea. Then we left Hip City Veg and walked around a bunch and got ready for going out to Botanical Bar at night. Now last time I visited we went to DC Vegan Deli which is on the top floor of the building and it's A plus food there by the way and recently the same owners opened this vegan cocktail bar downstairs. The theme is something like Secret Garden meets Alice in Wonderland. I was all about it in the menu. Oh my god, the menu was just wow. We got the potato skins, which you couldn't tell in a million years was vegan, and the cauliflower wings. We couldn't agree on what kind of sauce we wanted, so the server, who was so awesome and kind, split the sauce for us. They're all made in-house and actually came out hot from the kitchen. And speaking of great service, when it came to ordering drinks, the server was super helpful and actually suggested I order the secret menu item, the Lavender French 75. Some of the other drinks ordered around the table were the Spirit of the Garden, which was very floral and bright, and a Strawberry Negroni. All of them were very boozy and strong. After that, we went to Decades, a nightclub where each floor plays a different kind of music from different decades. This is not vegan, but I had a lot of fun. Here's a picture of your girl living her best life because she danced her little heart out. Now, the next morning, I was ready for a lot of food to soak up the drinks from the night before, but unfortunately, all the DC airport has to offer in terms of vegan food are little snacks like this, so I ended up eating one of my vegan croissants that I had packed with me. We went to Montreal for the weekend. You can see all that we ate there on this other vlog. I'll put the link in the description below. And when we got back, it was time for the most delicious day for vegan food in DC yet. Donut Run doesn't shout from the rooftops that they're vegan, but they are. They make everything fresh in the morning and post their menu on Instagram. And they are open every day from 7am to 2pm, but they often sell out before then. So we got there nice and early to have our pick of these donuts. Good morning everyone. <laughs> Tara's not camera ready. <laughs> to be honest, neither am I. We are up at 7am on the last day of vacation, but it's for a good cause. It's for vegan donuts. And uh, we came to Donut Run in DC. This place usually has a line on the door. Uh, it's a Wednesday morning, so it's a little bit more chill. But they usually sell out pretty early in the day, so we wanted to get here early. So let's just go get vegan donuts because I need them. While we wait for the list. Donut hole? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I see what you did there. Mm. So good. So good. 
the sacrifices that it'll make for you guys, you know, having to show the stuff. Like, we went on a 40 minute drive for donuts, 20 minutes each way. But you know what? I think this is gonna be worth it. I think I'm gonna start with the chocolate coconut one. So good signs for me, signs of a good donut can be a cake donut. That's not a real donut. It needs to be yeasted. And these are super, super soft. So this is chocolate coconut. It's so good. It's super, super soft, but not like bready, you know? It's like very light, melts in your mouth. Good frosting to donut ratio. Gotta hate it when they only have like one little drizzle. Like half of the donut should be covered in frosting. And this is, it's fantastic. And then it has a lot of that coconut to balance out the chocolate. Ideal breakfast, ideal breakfast. So, so good. So the other flavors I end up, ended up getting was French toast, Boston cream, strawberry, creamsicle, cinnamon bun, and donut holes, which I already snacked on one right when we got out because they smell so good. One donut eaten and I was ready for some coffee. So I walked over to this coffee shop for an oat latte. Very cute vibes, very cute packaging, but Honestly, it was way too sweet and I would probably not go back. Ooh, so many colors. So I got, well, first of all, uh, yes, I'm back in my pajamas because today is a recovering from a trip kind of day. So after getting donuts, just came back, showered, put on pajamas again, but then I'm like, okay, we need to eat something savory that's not donuts, you know, for a meal. So we ordered from Pow Pow, which I ordered last time I was in DC and it was so incredible. Um, so I got something different this time because I've been eating a lot of brown foods, delicious brown foods, lots of potatoes, lots of bread, which has been amazing. But like, you know, when your body is just like craving some other things. So here's what I got. Uh -uh. No, oh, I thought you were uh eyeing at me. <laughs> she was uh eyeing at Lily. <laughs> um, okay, so I got the purity bowl. It has, oh my gosh, my nails are a disaster. Um, it has sweet potatoes, edamame. I got the rice and salad mix. We got carrots, we got tomatoes, and I got the oh, broccoli beans. And I got an extra added of the barbecue jackfruit. What did you get? Um, fake chicken. Okay. Delicious. Otherwise, I think the base is like the same, same thing, thing as yours. Yeah. Mmm, yum. Yeah. So, yeah. This looks so good. Mm. Last time that I ordered from Pow Pow, I got the... We got the poutine, right? And it was so good. Oh, yeah. And, um... There was something else, I think it was fried rice that we got last time that was incredible. Like beyond. It was like over a year ago. This is good stuff. And barbecue jackfruit can go either way. Like sometimes it's just meh. So let's taste that separately. Mmm. It's kind of spicy. There's definitely a kick to it, but not enough to like dominate everything it's perfect as a topping with everything else so yes mm. and after the meal by the way i ate a lot i'm so full and there's still half a meal left in here that's tomorrow's lunch um but fortune cookie mm. love a fortune cookie let me know in the comments if you do too let's see what we got in terms of portion. Don't mind the nails. Ah, no! I crushed it. You know it doesn't come true if you don't eat it first. Well then. Well, I'm supposed to eat the entire thing before I read the fortune? Yeah. That's insane. I do it every time. I will do it now, but... Even the part you fell on the it's floor? It's absurd. No, it didn't fall on the oh. floor. <laughs> fell on my lap. The suspense is killing me. That's the whole part. 
You have to do the work to enjoy what you're looking for. I hate it. Okay. Oh, shoot. I didn't see it. I just glimpsed at it, but I didn't read it. Why would you pick it up when there's still a cookie in your hand? Reflex. <laughs> Practice. I don't know. Like, what's it called? Muscle memory. Oh, my God. This is torture. Freaking co torture cookie police over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. A man's dreams are an index to his greatness. What is yours? A refreshing change is in your future. Oh, that's nice. That could be a soda. That would be nice too. Then it was time for me to pack up. Lily did not believe I was going to be able to close my bags, but I was and head home. Overall, it was a very successful trip to DC in terms of vegan food. Almost as good as the one from Montreal and definitely way better than the vegan food in Arizona. You can see how those two trips went over here.